the controller. I love video games. Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo. And Sega, boy. Really don't matter to me, man. Who ready to play? Hold up. The game here got something to say. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy God Shepherd and I'm back. Oh yeah, with another video, you guys. I'm also a hip-hop recording artist and all of that good old stuff, and I hope you know where to go find my music. Anyways, you guys, we're gonna dive into this video. And today, you guys, I have some PlayStation news for you guys. Uh some news that I wanted to bring to you earlier this week, but you know things that were going on just didn't allow me to do that but anyway I'm here today with it and I got two different types of news basically that pertain to the PlayStation 5 or you know PlayStation or whatnot so first off we're gonna dive into this uh, first set of news you guys and this first set of news is coming uh, to you uh, by PC Gamer, so I will leave a link in the description below uh, for each of these sources uh, so you guys can check them out um, yourselves. So first up, you guys, uh, here on PC Gamer, uh, we're going to start uh, off with talking about Sony's uh, PSVR 2. So right here it says, Sony's PSVR 2 virtual reality headset will get an adapter for PCs this summer, but its best features will remain exclusive to the PlayStation. So as we scroll down, we get to see uh, a picture of this adapter and what it looks like right here. It says, suppose you're a fan of VR gaming and you've been looking for a headset that offers high resolution and a wide field of view to keep motion sickness at bay. In that case, you might be pleased to know that Sony has announced an adapter for its PlayStation VR 2 headset that'll let you hook it up to any suitable gaming PC. What you might be less pleased about is just how many of the PSVR 2's features won't be available on that platform. So yeah, we're going to be getting a, you know, an adapter for all of us that like PC or gaming on the PC and for all of us that wish we could have VR on the PC, we're going to be getting an adapter for that. And with that said, you know, the future features that we're used to when it comes to the PlayStation VR 2, uh, most of those won't be on that or won't be supported by uh, our PCs, if you will. And as we uh, move on uh, or scroll down here, it says Sony launched its second generation uh, VR headset for the PlayStation 5 last year. Though it's not so particularly well since then, that's certainly not down to its hardware specifications as they're pretty decent. It's HDR OLED panels with 2000 times 2040 resolution and up to 120 Hertz refresh rate are easy on the eyes as is the 110 degree field of view. And then as we move down, you guys, it says there are infrared cameras to track eye movement and multiple gyroscopes and accelerometers uh, to monitor head movement along with more cameras to aid in that. Plus, the hand controllers are furnished with adaptive triggers and haptic feedback, very much like that in Sony's DualSense controller for the PS5. And then right here it says, sounds fab, yes except the PC adapter won't support the use of HDR, headset feedback, eye tracking, adaptive triggers, and haptic feedback other than rumble. In other words, all the best aspects of the PSVR 2 that make it stand out against the likes of the MetaQuest 3 won't be an option. But yeah, we're gonna be getting an adapter for the 
PC that will allow us to use the PlayStation VR 2, but it won't come with all the things and that make it the PlayStation VR 2, if you will. So if you don't own a PS5 or PlayStation VR 2, you know, I don't see the reason in getting one just because you want to hook it to your PC. That thing is running about four to $500, plus you gotta get an adapter. An adapter, I believe, if you read you know, more into it, is about 60 bucks. But yeah, again, a link will be in the description below so you guys can check out more on this. Moving on. All right, you guys, so the second piece of news that I got for you guys is brought to you from Push Square. So we're gonna dive into this real quick and here we go it says right up here some playstation fans are losing their minds over lego horizon being on switch oh man this caught my attention you guys as soon as i saw this because i didn't know they were doing this anyway we're going to move down and it says last night which basically was a week or so ago or days ago but last night during the summer game fest showcase lego horizon was officially announced its reveal didn't come as a huge surprise since it was heavily rumored ahead of the event i didn't know about it but its trailer still managed to catch most people out why because it was confirmed for PS5, PC, and Nintendo Switch. So not only is this thing gonna be on the PlayStation, uh, a place where a lot of us think it should just be at period, but it's coming out on the PC and the Nintendo Switch. Moving on, this is obviously a step in a completely new direction for PlayStation Studios with Lego Horizon being partly developed by Guerrilla Games, the Sony-owned studio behind the existing Horizon titles. But as always, Change can bring discomfort. Oh, yes, it can. And that's exactly what some PlayStation fans are feeling right now. Uh, does this surprise me? No, it doesn't surprise me at all. I mean, when I think of Lego type of games, uh, I imagine Lego games being everywhere from PC to PlayStation, to Nintendo, to Xbox, to whatever platform they would want to put a Lego game on, uh, mainly because it's for everyone. For hardcore PlayStation fans, maybe that just upsets us uh, in a sense. Am I a hardcore PlayStation fan? I wouldn't necessarily say that I am a hardcore PlayStation fan, but I am a hardcore gaming fan. So it don't make a difference if it's uh, Xbox, Nintendo, PlayStation, and I'm just now getting into PC type, you know, games. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. As long as I can play some games, I, I don't care what platform they're on. I just want to play. When it comes to this Lego Horizon game, you guys, what do you guys think out there? Uh, do you think it should only stay on PlayStation? Uh, uh, only? Uh, or, or are you cool with it being across multiple platforms? And for those of you that's looking to get a VR, uh, or looking to get this VR adapter, uh, do you think it's worth it? You know, and, and, and why? Let your boy know in the comment section down below. Oh yeah, and make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and you already know what to do. Don't forget to share this video. See you later, baby, and don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll be notified when I'm doing new videos. Until next time, thank you guys for tuning in to Game Head. Peace.